Let's stop right there because I remember back in the 70s that uh, Ted Koppel had some of the scientists on and they actually quoted Genesis 1 yeah, right. and the scientists quoted 1 and, and uh, Ted Koppel went on and did 2. Yeah. And I'm saying that that was pretty astounding. Now, they said it was, it was the discovery of, of the century for the scientists. Why so? Because it does go back to Einstein. He had postulated that something ought to happen out of his mathematics. He didn't want to even accept it himself, but they proved it via the sciences. What did they find? Well, from the 70s right up to the present moment, there's been these space-time theorems of general relativity. And what they basically state is that if the universe contains mass, and I would suggest to skeptics find a bathroom scale, uh, but the second condition, do the equations of general relativity reliably describe the dynamics of the universe? And the past five years, general relativity has vaulted to the most exhaustively tested principle in physics, the best proven principle in physics. Both conditions are now beyond doubt. The conclusion of that theorem is that there must be this simultaneous beginning to matter, energy, space, and time. More than that, there's a corollary to the theorem. There must exist a causal agent that brings into existence space and time independent, beyond or outside of space and time. You know, Stephen Hawking, one of the authors of the first space-time theorem of general relativity, boasted that we prove that time is a beginning. But the Bible said that thousands of years ago, that when God created, he created time. There is an actual beginning of time that coincides with the beginning of the universe. Not only that, but scientists have gone back and they've actually started putting numbers to when they think time started. Right. What's the, what's the accepted theory right now? Well, you can use uh, the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, the Two Degree Deep Sky Survey, and the W map, which is the most accurate map of the radiation left over from the creation event. Those three methods give you a date of 13.7 billion years ago as to when the universe came into existence. That's also the only moment in cosmic history when human beings can actually look back and photograph or image the beginning of the universe. It takes light time to reach us from the beginning, 13.7 billion years. This is the first moment in cosmic history when human observers can actually witness or photo image that point of beginning. 